Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this episode, we'll show you how several queen wasps of different species learned to get along together inside a temporary glass habitat where they lived together peacefully for about nine days in March of 2025 before we released them back into the wild. We had captured these queens or foundress wasps to mark them for later identification in the field and also to utilize them as live wasp specimens and visual aids for a presentation we did for a local Brownie Girl Scout troop. We had several paper wasp queens and a yellow jacket queen all sharing one habitat. And they were captured on unseasonably warm days before they had built their nests, but while the spring weather was still cold and getting down into the 30s off and on. And during these cold spells, the wasps would go into diapause, which is a sleep-like hibernation state to conserve their energy and resources until it warms up again. And we'll show you what that looks like. On warmer days, they would wake up and we'd feed them sugar water from a dish inside the glass habitat, which stands in for plant nectar before the nectar flow happens in the spring. By the late afternoon of March 29th, 2025, the Girl Scout event was over, so we released the marked queens and we'll show you what that looked like. We'll be looking forward to seeing the marked queens again somewhere out in the wild as they begin to build their nests out in the local ecosystem. Some of the locations they might choose for nesting could be in our local vespiary boxes that we set up along the barn wall. Hopefully some of these queens you see being released here will live right here on site with us in some of these boxes. We even dropped one of them off right at one of the birdhouse boxes we have for wasps and we'll see if she decides to live there or not. We'll keep you updated during the season to let you know how many of our wasp queens that we found and marked this spring have set up nests nearby that we can monitor for the season. For now, we'll take you back to March 20th through March 29th of 2025 to show you the process. If you enjoy the show, please like, share, subscribe, and comment to let us know you're there. So what happens with wasps when it gets this cold is they go into a biological state called diapause and they just shut down their bodies and they're all shut down here as if they're hibernating again. So we expect them to stay in that state until the heat warms up. Hopefully they'll survive. But for now, as you can see, they are completely asleep. Shut down for a hibernated state in diapause and they will automatically wake up again when the temperature raises back up. So we hope they survive. So we can't see them very well, but they're inside here, right under this hatch. If we open it, you can just see them hanging on there. But we're gonna leave them alone. So while it remains so cold, right now, if that thermometer is correct, I don't know if it is, but it's still mid, mid to high 30s. So we're going to put a slight insulation over the habitat, which hopefully will allow for a little bit of warmth and a little bit less cold coming through the top vents, but still allow enough looseness to let air in there. We'll see how it goes. Looks like our Mama Yellow Jacket's come out. Hopefully she's getting hungry and she'll get herself something to eat here. Our Polistes wasp is moving very slow. Hopefully she's not sick. And maybe she's just sort of half hibernating, half stoned on sugar water. But she's moving super slow. And this one's moving pretty slow too. They've been in diapause most of the day because it was very chilly in the 30s in here for a good part of the day. It's just now warming up to the 50s in the barn here. So they're coming out a little bit. And Mama Wasp just came out for a brief hello. And then she went back to her little corner there that she's sharing with one of the other Polistes wasps.
Back behind there is the other paper wasp. And they're just side by side. This is just a little piece of food packaging waste, the brown plastic in there. And it allows them to have a little space where they can find shelter underneath if they're in the mood for uh, hiding out a little bit. So you see these two wasps are moving in kind of slow motion while they're sort of half out of diapause. It was very cold today in the 30s and now it's up to, you know, under 60 maybe. A little bit over 50, 55 now in the barn. And so they woke up, got something to eat. Yellow jacket came out and flew around a little bit. Right now she's in the back hanging out over here with the other paper wasp. So the two of them are up there right now. So Mama Yellow Jacket has found our sugar water. Yeah, that's pretty tasty, isn't it? Good sugar water. You go back and get some more now. So we've got our queen yellow jacket in the queen cage here temporarily because we're going to be putting a little bit of a change in the layout of her habitat. The Polissi's wasp, we don't have to cage them because they're moving very, very slowly. But the queen yellow jacket, she was moving pretty quickly. So we just caged her temporarily so she doesn't get hurt while we uh, update the wood. What we did was we changed the wood here so that there's more of a enclosed space. So if the paper wasp might want to make a nest, they could hang it from underneath this structure. This, this piece of wood right here, we added on just to make it more like an eaves type scenario there. That may attract them if they want to do any nesting behavior. So for now, they're just staying pretty mellow. This one I'm a little worried about. She doesn't look so good. But the others are still moving around. And it could just be a temperature thing, but I hope they're not uh, somehow ill. We'll see how it goes. This place is exploring the new eaves structure. So hopefully that'll make them more comfortable. So they're just hanging out together now. It's not like they're fighting or hurting each other. They're just sort of hanging out nearby, peaceful for now. This paper wasp is maybe not doing so well. It's hard to tell if she's uh, engaging in dying behavior here or not. Hopefully she'll come back around when the weather warms up. The other day when we rescued her, she was moving a little slower than the others as well. So she may not survive, we'll see. As you can see here, they're not necessarily opposed to hanging out near each other. I wouldn't say they're friends, but they're certainly not trying to kill each other or hurt each other. They're just sort of chilling in the same area. 
So, for now, they seem to be doing fine. We'll keep checking on them as the weather gets real cold in the barn and as it warms up again. March 26, around 1.15 p.m. It's about 50 degrees out today. So we put our ladies out in the sunshine and they're waking up from their diapause, which is sort of a semi-hibernation state while they wait for temperatures to pick up. So they're out and about on the habitat, getting a little something to eat stretching their legs, waking up a little bit. We've added a little bit of pollen cake food in there as well, which is what wasps eat for protein sometimes. So just in case they needed protein, since there's no insects to feed them here, we just put a little pollen cake in their feed dish along with the sugar syrup from before. Quick note on voice over here. The wasp you see here, this is a northern paper wasp, a Polistes fuscatus. She's engaging in very odd behavior that makes us think maybe she's got a parasitic fungal infection. You see the white material on her abdomen and her wings, looks like fungus. Wondering what she's trying to get off her abdomen there. Some kind of white material. If it is fungus, it wouldn't be unusual because a lot of times when wasps are in hibernation over the winter, one of the main reasons they're killed during hibernation is fungus. Fungus often finds them wherever they're hibernating and gets inside their bodies and inside their brains and causes strange behavior until they die. A little bit on a wing too. Hopefully she's not ill or parasitized or something. Ultimately, we did have to remove this wasp from the habitat just in case she had a pretty serious fungus. We didn't want it to spread to the other wasps, so we let her out. We released her and put her on one of the habitats outside. But it did look like this fungus was in the process of killing her. The fungus takes over their brain and forces them to climb up to a place and latch on with their mandibles and hang there where the fungus can throw its spores out and continue to reproduce. But it's good to see them waking up, getting a little sunshine. Here's our German yellow jacket queen. She's out for a little exercise. March 28th, 2025. You see here how they are getting along just fine hanging out in the same area of the habitat. Paper wasp and yellow jacket queen. They don't seem to mind each other's presence. At least there's no visible sign of conflict. It's about 50-ish uh, degrees in the barn. They're waking up a little bit because of that. So the wasps are out for a little drink today. You can see here she's come out to get a little bit of uh, sugar water. see them out here grooming and cleaning up and stretching 
after their diapause sleep. And she's coming down to get a drink of sugar water. Here's another one, giving a drink from the sugar water feeder. March 29th, 2025, and our brownie event is over. So these wasps have done their duty as ambassadors and educators. They helped us teach the girls how wasps work and what they look like. Now it's time to let them out. You see them ready to fly, go make their nests. So let's let these queens out of here. Let's see if she's ready to go. There she goes. Okay. There's two out. Where's our next customer? There she is in the back. Yeah, there she comes. Okay, here comes the next one. Go ahead, you're free. Take off. There she goes. Okay, so she's not quite ready to go yet. Here you go, why don't you get up on this? All right, here she goes. Let's bring her over here. Maybe she'd like to live in one of our wasp houses. So we'll let her go in here. Maybe she'll find good shelter in there. We'll see if she makes a nest and sticks around. 